Greetings everyone, my name is Dr. Sunshine, and welcome back to Terraria and the Journey's End update. I took a much needed break after the last episode, I was feeling really broken from our failure of the events. So in my downtime, I decided to focus on other things around the world. I got back to doing some building projects, and we're gonna go check those out in a little bit. I also managed to cleanse a bit of the desert on the right hand side of the map. Now, it's not 100% cleansed, it's an ongoing battle, but it was cleansed enough so the NPCs can move back in. And really, cleansing it wasn't too bad, because I went and picked up the Clentaminator from the Steampunker. Gotta say, I've never messed around with that before. It makes short work of cleansing a biome. And beyond all of that, probably one of the most important things, I was able to find the last piece of the puzzle for the Ink Shield. I got the Nazar. So, we should have all of the pieces necessary to make the Ink Shield, and we're gonna do that right now. Oh, another real quick thing. I managed to find this sniper rifle while I was in the dungeon. I don't think it's really gonna be a game changer for us. I just thought that was a really cool find because I never came across that on my Ranger build in the first series. So uh, we'll probably mess around with this just a little bit, but like I said, it's not gonna be a game changer for us being a summoner. So, uh, I think we just need to make counter curse mantra. And then we got the ink charm. And if we just do this, we got an ink shield. Oh my god, this has been a long time coming. Holy crap. So it just innately has four defense on it. That's really cool. Grants immunity to the knockback and fire blocks. And immunity to most debuffs. So that's pretty neat. We're gonna have to re-roll that, try and get some more defense or attack on that. But holy crap, this has been a long time coming. Oh, that's great. And today... What we're going to be focusing on, we will be taking on that Pumpkin Moon event again, because there's a handful of adjustments that we can make to better our chances in the fight. And honestly, I think with those changes, we could probably take out the Pumpkin. I don't know if we can last, you know, seven more waves, but I think we could probably take out at least one or two Pumpkins, which I'd be more than happy to do. But for now, let me re-roll the Ink Shield and we'll go check out some of the build projects that I've been working on. There we go, Warding Ink Shield. Okay, so we're doing really good there. Wait, we're at 54 defense? Solid, that is just fantastic. Okay, so the build projects that I've been working on. First off, I touched up my house. It's not drastically different. I swapped a few blocks here and there and gave it a better roof. It just has a bit more flair now. Uh, next, to the left of the tavern, it kind of just happened, but, uh, ooh, what's that? Oh, a kite. That's cool. Oh, yeah, this uh, dead giveaway. I made a mushroom biome. It's really funny, though. I came across two mushroom seeds, and I thought, I might as well work on that. So I spread a ton of mud around, and just planted those two seeds and left. That's all I did. And I came back to a fully formed mushroom biome. So I put this little house together, and I figured we'd do the final touches together, because I think the truffle will show up at this point. Maybe? But that'll be good enough for whenever he does decide to show up. Uh, let's see, what else, what else? Oh, how could I have forgotten? So a while ago, oh, there's the truffle. So a while ago, I was thinking about making a tower for the wizard. So I finally got around to doing that, and here it is. I actually really like how this one turned out. It's not too complex, but it just looks like a nice fantasy tower. Ah, oh, this wyvern is really getting annoying. Uh, of course, and the cyborg's dead. Yeah, the, the cyborg was living at the base of the tower as well. I don't know if they were a good match, but, uh, but I thought, why not? And I think that's about it. 
Well, there is one more small little build, but it was more for utility's sake. It wasn't a creative build. Hey, uh, what are you, Cremini? Cr Cremini? You haven't seen any pigs around here, have you? My brother lost his leg to one. Ah, uh, <laughs> okay. Yeah, you got all that stuff. Oh! I could put down a mushroom pylon. That's really cool. You don't really need it, because it's right next to our home base, but... That's cool. But yeah, like I was saying, we'll go over to the arena. I built a little shack over there and put a bed down, so that way we could just fight in that area, and if we die, we'll just respawn right next to it. Instead of coming back to our home base and having to continue the fight here where our NPCs just get slaughtered. So I think we've got basically everything. We're going to be starting this fight here shortly. Um, I refilled my potions. Got food. Oh, uh, we're also going to be running the optic staff. Because just like... Oh, come on. Come on. All right. Because just like me using the chlorophyte bullets to deal with flighty enemies, my little pygmies have a real tough time dealing with flying enemies, so they weren't really doing any damage to the pumpkin. And with any luck, these eyes are gonna do much better than the pygmies. Beyond that, uh, I swapped off of the summoner emblem and put the turtle shell back on because again, survivability is key. We really need to last as long as possible. So I think that's everything. Yeah, we might as well just head over to the arena and get going on the fight. So as you can see, nice little hut here. Nothing fancy, but it's got all the buffs right there. And we can set our spawn here. That may be a bad decision, I don't know yet, because we're right here, so we might just die over and over. But it's better than going back to the base and having all of our NPCs die. Okay. We're gonna do all of our buffs. Another pair of eyes. And let's hope for the best here. We should be fine in the first few waves. That's nowhere near a problem. It's typically seven and beyond. Depending on how long we last during this event, we might have enough spooky wood to make a new armor set. That'd be pretty cool. I mean, ultimately, I want to try and get the summon items. I really want to get that scroll from Morning Wood. But it's all down to drop chance. Where is Morning Wood? Oh, there you are. Hold on, hold on. Have that. And that. Oh, and that. Hold on. There you go. Okay. Excuse me. Oh! <gasps> The scroll dropped! Yeah! Oh, that's so good! Uh-oh, pumpkin's coming. Oh, that's... that's... Oh, okay. At least we got the scroll. I'm still worried, but... At least we got that. Really, Wyvern? I don't understand why he shows up. Like, we're not that far up. We're basically on the ground here. Okay, come on, summons. Come on, summons. You can do it. You can do it. Hold on, hold on. Whip. Whip. Yeah, that's a good rainbow. Ooh. Well, so far, we're not taking a ton of damage. I mean, I think we're avoiding a lot of it, but but with the ink shield, we're not getting that weak debuff. We've got a bit more defense, and if we do get down below half health, we'll be able to tank a bit more damage with the turtle shell. Okay, okay. Yeah, it's a little busy in here. Hold on, hold on. Gotta focus. Whip. God, he stays targeted for a long time. Oh, I think we got this. We're doing so much better. I don't think we've ever gotten him this week. 
let's get a little bit more damage. Wait. Why can't I fire? Oh! I didn't realize I was on torches. He's almost dead. Come on. Drop a summon item while you're at it. Just give me one. Give me a new minion. Cool. What's that? <gasps> That's a summon item. Oh, yes. Our luck's turning. This is our day. Or I guess this is our night. Oh, my God. I am so happy. <laughs> Just a little bit of changes and prep work goes such a long way. Oh, hello. We meet again. Hold on, hold on. There you go. What other things are we looking for in this? We got the summon. We got the scroll. We might be able to make the armor. I don't know, we might need another run for that. But I think there were some other things that we were looking for in this. I just can't remember right now. God, I love the turtle shell. We can be so tanky below half health. Oh, Morningwood! I really don't need you anymore. You were generous and dropped what I needed. Uh-oh. We're not doing so good. All right. Gun time. Oh! Okay. I actually don't mind that. <laughs> we didn't die. We didn't die once. Holy crap. Now that's a massive improvement. Oh. Night and day difference from the last episode. I feel so much better. And we were really lucky there. The fact that we got the scroll and a uh, new summon. 96 summon damage? Whoa, 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 96? No, that's a lot of damage! I heard this was good. I didn't know it was amazing. Because this is another flyer. I think we could even get a bit more damage if we get a Ruthless modifier. Oh yeah, we are definitely gonna be using that. Ooh, Witch's Broom. Wait a second, is that a... Is that a mount? Oh my god, it's a mount. We're gonna be able to fly, aren't we? Can we just fl Oh my god, I am so happy, look at us. It's not, it's not incredibly fast, but we can fly. Oh, that's so cool. Oh my God. How did we get so lucky here? Oh, that's so cool. I can't say that enough. All right, what else? What else? I know we got the scroll. So we got to combine that with the Hercules beetle. Oh, okay. Let's check out the staff. Uh, where... There you are. Oh. Oh, look at them all. Oh, <laughs> I'm so happy. Okay. Okay, let's go back to the base. See if we have enough spooky wood for a different armor set. We'll re-roll this staff and combine the scroll and the Hercules beetle. And then, we might take on a different event. Oh, guys, you should have seen it. I killed them all. It was amazing. Okay, uh, combine, oh my god, my inventory. That's fine. Yes, the Papyrus Scarab. So now we have, oh, we're gonna have to reroll that. So now it increases our max number of minions, and we have the increased damage and knockback. Oh, that's just fantastic. Oh, uh, we got the discount card still. Let's let's re-roll a bit. Okay, first let's get the scroll. Damage. Oh uh, yeah, we'll hold that for now. Cause we're still at 54 defense. We could go up to 58, but. Damage is good enough. Let's just hold on to that. Let me double check. I think we still want Ruthless. Ruthless is basically the go-to for most of these summons. Yep, we're looking for Ruthless. Hope we have enough gold to get Ruthless. 
Ah, I'm out of gold. Okay. We're just gonna have to stick with Mystic. I mean, that is better, so I can't complain. But eventually, we're gonna want to get Ruthless, because I think that will push it over 100 damage. Ooh, boy. Uh, what else is there? Well, I'm gonna have to clean my inventory, that's for sure. Uh, yeah, let me clean my inventory, and I'm gonna double check and see if there's anything else that we want to look for from the Pumpkin Moon event. Because we do have some more summons for that. Okay, yeah, I think we want to run that event again, because there is a whip that sounds really cool. It's like a scythe on a chain. And it says... Strike enemies with dark energy to gain attack speed. Dark energy jumps from enemies hit by summons. Ooh, yeah, that sounds really good. That sounds really good, and I think it just drops from the pumpkin. Yeah, so we're gonna have to try and get lucky from that, but who knows? We might be able to get that, and I think there is another summon that we could get as well. Oh, uh, before I forget... Spooky Wood. 704, that's not enough, we need 750. Damn it. Well, we can make two of the pieces. Uh, should we go with just the chest and the boots? I guess why not? Okay, well, I think I'll just wait until night and then we'll give that event another go. Maybe we can get lucky with our drops one more time. Okay, here we go again. But this time, I think we're gonna do even better. But their new summons? Holy crap. They're just gonna shred through everything. Look at them all. Uh, let's see. Buff. And then we'll summon another two? It's hard to tell how many there are. They're just flying all over the place. Alright, and away we go! Ah, uh, and we can fly. I didn't think we'd be able to get a flying mount for a while. Well, for sure, with this run, we'll have enough spooky wood to make a new armor set. But as far as I understand, it's not going to be an end-all replacement for our tiki set. It's just an alternative if we want to get more damage. I think the tiki is more defensive and possibly can summon more minions, but the spooky wood is going to produce a lot more minion damage. So, we may be switching back and forth between those, depending on the situation, which I'm fine with doing. Hey! Check out my birds! Oh my god. Go, birds! Holy crap! <laughs> Look at his health! No chance! No chance! No, no, we're going back up here. Oh, there's a pumpkin. Okay, come on. Please tell me we're quick enough. Yeah, I think we are. We can still fly circles. Hold on. Whip. Whoa, I didn't even realize his health. <laughs> I'm in danger. We haven't whipped him yet. Go, birds. Go, birds. Yeah. <laughs> That's so much damage. Ah, oh, so happy. Wait, did he drop anything? I don't think he did. Okay, where's the, oh, there he is. You ready for round two? Think you're a little tankier, but now that you're whipped, oh, <laughs> look at his health. Yes, yes, take the damage. And please drop the whip for me. That's the last thing I really want from this event. He dropped it! Give it, give it, yes! Oh, that's great. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Uh, 180? It's not as much damage, but it's, it's different. This is really slow and damaging, but this has an extra effect to it. I'm not yet sure which is better, because the Morning Star does allow the minions to do crit damage. I mean, really, his health is going down pretty quick regardless of the whip I'm using. Yeah, I don't even need to do anything. I just have to fly around him. I love these birds. They're so good. Spider egg? Ugh, I don't want that in my inventory. 
I'm gonna have to look up more of the details on this dark energy the whip causes. Cause I'm not sure if it's like a debuff or if it's just a, a damage over time effect. Okay, this is gonna be a new record for us. Third pump king. Can we do it? Wait for it, wait for it. Rainbow. Yes, yes, take the damage. Oh, candy corn rifle. Oh, I think I remember that. I believe I got that in my first playthrough. And it's literally as it sounds, it shoots candy corn. I mean, maybe that's good, but I don't care. Okay, we just have to run this event out and then we will check out all the stuff that we got. Oh, number four? Right, we're on four? Kind of losing track of how many we've run across. There's just so much going on right now. And do the da- Oh my god, I don't have to do anything! Is that another candy corn rifle? Ah. Uh, it should sell good. That can go towards re-rolling stuff. Okay, I guess that's it. I mean, it says it's still going on, but there's barely any and Oh, there they are. Were you all down here? Come on, get one more kill in. Don't let him disappear. Oh, he's a bit quicker. Oh, and there's two, okay. Okay, you can end now. I think that's a bit too much for me. Yeah, I think that's a bit too, okay, good, they're gone. Thank you for leaving. Ooh, boy. We made it to uh, wave 12, I think? That's so much better. Okay, let's check our inventory. So, we got the candy corn rifle. I'm gonna sell that. Steaks, a steak launcher. I mean, that's kind of cool. But again, I don't really think we're gonna bother with those. Uh, spider egg. Pet spider. I, I guess. We're... Eh. That's not as amazing as I was hoping it'd be. I mean, compared to our little Minotaur, how do you beat that? How do you beat this little guy? I think we got some more stuff in here. Uh, Chicken nugget, another candy corn rifle, cursed sapling. Oh, it's another pet. Oh! Okay, that's a little bit cooler. And it kind of fits our theme right now. Whoa, and you fly really quick. Okay, yeah, why not? We'll equip that for now. Uh, what else, what else? We got another witch's broom. Yeah, just a lot of stuff to sell. Okay. Well, honestly, that is probably good enough. There is another summon that we could go after, but I think the Raven Staff was the best one out of that event. So now let's head back to the base and craft up that spooky armor. So, uh, actually I think we got all the wood. Yeah, we got it right there. We just need to make the helmet. And now, let me, uh, <laughs> always with my stupid inventory. So, max number of minions by two. One there. Movement speed. Minion damage. Minion damage and number of minions. We're at 54 defense right now. If we swap this all out. We actually, we drop down to 49. So that is tankier. 
mainly in the chest piece, it looks like. Yeah, on the, the pants and the chest piece, it's a little bit tankier for the Tiki set. But we got a lot of minion damage, and the set bonus increases it by 25% with all of these ravens. Yeah. Yeah, we're gonna be doing a lot of damage. Ah, oh, so cool. I've said that so many times this episode, but I mean it. It's really cool. Uh, let me check the whip. I want to see exactly what it does. And then I want to see what roll we should go for. Because we should be able to re-roll a few of these things. Uh, okay, so it's a debuff. And it reads, striking an enemy with Dark Harvest applies a dark energy aura to the target. Every time a minion attacks that enemy, the dark aura flares out and damages nearby enemies for 10 damage. Not affected by armor or damage bonuses. That's really cool. Oh, of course. It doesn't work on Morningwood and the Pumpkin, so we should have just kept the Morningstar on. But I do think we want to keep both of them. Because Morningstar seems to be really good against single targets with the crit damage. And this is really good for ad clearing. And we're looking for Sluggish, Bulky, or Legendary. Well, let me sell some stuff and try and re-roll this. Okay, well, I used up all my gold. And it just circled back around to Ruthless, so... Didn't really get any improvement. But that's fine. I'm just happy that we got all of this stuff. Just as a refresher for this episode, we managed to make the ink shield. We got the scroll to combine to make this new accessory. We got a new flying mount, which didn't expect that. We got a new summon, which does ridiculous damage, and we managed to get a new whip. All in all, I think that was a complete win for us. And I think in the next episode, we'll probably go after the golem. We might take a little time and run a different event, maybe the Solar Eclipse. I think there might be some drops out of that that we're looking for. I don't know for certain. There was something that we needed to get out of that. But I think we're now ready to move on, take on the Golem, and continue progressing throughout the game. But that's going to do it for this episode. Thank you all for stopping by. If you enjoyed what you saw, please be sure to hit that like button down below, share your thoughts in the comments, and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And I'll see you in the next episode. Bye now.